Hey, welcome to baby time, everyone. I'm Andrea from the Wilmette Public Library. It's so nice to be with you here today. I miss doing baby time in person, but we're gonna have a little virtual baby time. I'm going to do a few songs and rhymes today that your baby will probably just observe, and then maybe after a few times, they will learn them and want you to do them at home. Let's start with our hello song, and we're gonna wave, and maybe our older babies wanna wave. We're gonna sing. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? And then we clap hands. Get your hands ready to clap. Hi, hello, and clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Hi, hello, and clap your hands. How are you today? Welcome to baby time. It's so good to see these babies today. We're gonna to sing another song with clapping because our older babies love clapping. It's the same tune and it goes like this. Make your hands go clap, 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 clap. Make your hands go clap, 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 my sweet baby. And I forgot to introduce you to my demonstration baby. This is Bear. And I'm going to do with Bear what you can do with your babies on your lap. Ready, Bear? Bear's just going to sit here for now. Let's do some more clapping. Hands up. Make your hands go clap, 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 clap. Make your hands go clap, 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 my sweet baby. All right. So most of the rhymes and songs we do, um, you do what your baby's in your lap. And we do some, we do some hugging, we do some lifting. Sometimes we do a little tickle. Um, sometimes we do some gentle bouncing. So I know we have some younger infants in here. So this is just some stuff to file away for later once your babies are, are sitting up and have the neck support. Um, the first one is um, called a smooth road. And first we're gonna sway with baby in our laps on the smooth road. And then we're gonna go over a bumpy road, gentle bumps. And then, if your baby likes it, a rough road with some bigger bumps. And it goes like this. A smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road. A bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road. A rough road, a rough road, a rough road, a rough road. That's it. Um, I've heard that babies really like this one when they're in the stroller or in the car. Let's try it again. A smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road. A bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road. A rough road, a rough road, a rough road, a rough road. Yay. And now we're going to sing uh, My Little Red Wagon, and it goes like this. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? That's the first verse. So we sing it again? Let's sing it again so we can learn it. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? So fun. Okay. Um, next, we're going to do a little tickle. If your baby likes to be tickled, we need to respect that. But if your baby likes it, this is Roundabout Wee Mousy. And what you can do is draw a circle in baby's palm and then walk your fingers up and do a little tickle in the armpit. And it goes like this. I'm going to demonstrate on myself. Roundabout, roundabout, wee mousey. Up the tree, up the tree, into the housey. We'll do it a couple more times. Roundabout, roundabout, wee mousey. Up the tree, up the tree, into the housey. <laughs> I wish I could hear their laughs right now. Should we unmute them so we can hear any laughs going on? Here we go. 
Roundabout, roundabout, wee mousey. Up the tree, up the tree, into the housey. Just like that. Oh, I miss hearing these babies laughing in person, but we'll get back there soon, won't we? Oh, hi, now I hear them. Should we do it one more time? Roundabout, roundabout, wee mousey. Up the tree, up the tree, into the housey. Not too ticklish today. Okay, um, let's do TikTok. This one is really popular in baby time. Um, we do TikTok from side to side for, for Henry and maybe Sophie and Oliver might just want to listen. Um, and then we do a lift when we say cuckoo. So we're going to go up to three o'clock. So at one o'clock we do cuckoo for one. And then the second time um, we do it, we're going to do cuckoo twice. Cuckoo, cuckoo. And the third time we're going to do cuckoo three times. Cuckoo, 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 like that. Okay. Get, give our arms a workout. Here we go. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock, stop. What time is it? It's one o'clock. Cuckoo. <laughs> Just like that. So now we're going to do two o'clock. Follow me. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick Talk, stop. What time is it? It's two o'clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. All right, let's do three o'clock. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock, stop. What time is it? It's three o'clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Just like that. And that's tick tock. I love that one. Okay, now um, if you have a scarf or a napkin or any piece of fabric, I'm gonna play um, peekaboo. Can we play peekaboo? This is our peekaboo song, very popular. Peekaboo, peekaboo, I see you, I see you. I see your button nose, I see your tiny toes, I see you, peek a -boo. There we go. Do we do it again? Let's do it again. peek a peek a I see you, I see you. I see your button nose, I see your tiny toes, I see you, peek a -boo. That's it. I know I'm gonna email out the lyrics to all the rhymes to everyone who registered, um, just so you have them if you wanted to learn them. Okay, we're gonna do one more um, scarf song. I wish I was a little bar of soap. Maybe some of you know this one. This is a great song for bath time. I bunch up my scarf to make a little washcloth. And I ask my baby, where is your head? And in baby time, I've got 20 babies going, where's my head? <laughs> where are your knees? Where are your knees? You can just gently touch the knees, yeah. Where are your elbows? Here are your elbows. We're gonna to pretend to take a bath. Are you ready? Oh, I wish I was a little bar of soap, bar of soap. Oh, I wish I was a little bar of soap, bar of soap. Oh, it's slippy and it's lighty over everybody's hidey. Oh, I wish I was a little bar of soap, bar of soap. I'll sing it again for those who don't know it. Because babies love repetition and they learn from repetition. So it's all good. Oh, I wish I was a little bar of soap, bar of soap. Oh, I wish I was a little bar of soap, bar of soap. Oh, I'd slippy and I'd slidey over everybody's hidey. Oh, I wish I was a little bar of soap, bar of soap. And that's a little bar of soap. We'll do these rhymes every Tuesday. So um, 
after we do baby time a few times, you'll, you'll know all of these. And hopefully you'll be enjoying them at home uh, other times too. Okay, so every week in baby time, we've been learning some baby sign language. Um, we've learned a whole bunch of signs from week to week. And um, the sign that I wanted to teach you today was book. And book is just this, book. You put your hands together, book. Would you like to read a book? A book? So um, starting at six months, you know, if you start signing to your baby um, when you're saying the words, their listening vocabulary is developed before their speaking vocabulary. So they're going to be understanding a lot of what you say before they can speak. But if um, a younger baby who's not speaking yet, um, they can communicate with signs and um, help you understand what they need or what they want. So um, if you start signing book to your baby after a few weeks or months, when your baby's older, they might start um, signing book back to you when they want to hear a book. Um, and there are a lot of other useful signs um, that you can use for basic needs as well, for eating and drinking and if they're in pain. And um, it can be very, very helpful and relieve a lot of frustration for the baby and for the caregiver when um, you can communicate this way. Um, so if you're not already learning with signs, um, I highly recommend it. And we'll be learning a few in baby time. Book. So um, usually in live baby time, we pass out board books, um, one for each family because the young babies, they really um, do best with reading together one on one about this distance. Um, so for baby time, um, I don't read to the whole group, but we, um, we all read to each other. So I hope you all um, read together some, some good board books together. And we have plenty of wonderful board books you can borrow from the library that you can get from contactless pickup in our parking lot you don't want to come in or you can come in um, during our open hours to check out some board books. Okay. Okay. So next we're going to do some uh, a shaker song, a shaker chant. So if you have a shaker toy nearby, or you can just use your fist. We're going to shake our shakers up and shake our shakers down. Shake our shakers to the side and shake them all around. Shake them on your shoulders. Shake them on your head gently. Shake them on your tummy. And tuck them into bed. Good night, shakers. All right, now let's wake up our shakers. We're going to do it a little faster. Shake your shakers up and shake your shakers down. Shake your shakers to the side and shake them all around them on your shoulders, shake them on your head, shake them on your knees, and tuck them into bed. Oh, on your belly, sorry. Tuck it into bed. Just like that. Good night, shakers. Did you like that? Should we do it one more time? One more time. Shake your shakers up and shake your shakers down. Shake your shakers to the side and shake them all around. Shake them on your shoulders, shake them on your head, shake them on your tummy, and tuck them into bed. Good night, shakers. And that's our shaker song. Okay. Will you sit over here, Bear, because we're going to get our ukulele. This is a ukulele for our last two songs. <laughs> Baby time goes by so quickly. So this is a lullaby um, that's partly in Spanish, Yo Te Amo, which means I love you. And uh, so if you are looking for a new lullaby for bedtime or nap time, this is a nice one. And you can also change Yo Te Amo to I love you or how you say I love you in another language that you speak at home. It's like this. Yo Te Amo, Yo Te Amo. All day long I sing this little song to you. You te amo, you te amo. Darling, I love you. And that's it. And in live baby time, um, lots of the parents speak different languages. So we've learned how to say I love you in lots of different languages. Let's do it one more time. Yo te amo, yo te amo. All day long I sing this little song to you. Yo te amo, yo te amo. Darling, I love you. Yeah, all right. So 
we have one song left and it's the more we get together and i, I like to end with that song and um we'll sing it a couple times here we go the more we get together together we read together and your books are my books the more we read together joining me for baby time and I will see you next time. All right. We still recording?